All right, I have had some issues with my fescue grass. We got some like weird yellowing. And I don't know if you can see it in this video very good or not. But I just have yellow spots amongst my grass. It's kind of irregular shapes and spots. And I know that I have terrible soils because I seeded this yard myself. And I've put down some products um, and kind of tested a lot of different things. And about two weeks ago, I put down this Ironite and I put down Scott's um, Turf Builder. And today I'm going to put down some Melorganite. And I've used a lot of different products to mess with hundreds of yards, but I just seems like, I don't know, I, I don't really find products that really help this yellow grass situation and fescue specifically. Um, I don't think that it has anything to do with watering. Um, and, and whenever I have a problem like this and it's across the entire yard, I'll usually test products out and I'll do like half of the lawn um, with certain products and half of the lawn with the other product. And then sometimes I might like put a put a fertilizer across the entire thing. So that's what I did on this yard. Um, the, uh, the area on the right, I did not put any ironite. And the area on the left, I put down a lot of ironite. Um, as you can see from the driveway, I didn't wash it off. So it stained my driveway up, so you can tell that there's definitely iron in there, in that. But, I don't know, I mean, I have all these chemical reps and different people trying to sell me products all the time, and I'll, I'll try anything, but I'm gonna test it and kind of set up an actual test plot, and I'm not gonna just apply it across an entire yard and try to like kind of see if there's a difference because it's really hard to tell that you know across an entire yard if you're testing out products I definitely recommend doing an actual test and plotting out you know a certain area in your yard using the product um, the way they recommend and and see if you can actually tell a, a you know a visual difference and and something that you can actually prove and tell because otherwise I think half of these products you kind of waste your time and money on I know that I have so I normally bag my grass um, I just have always liked to catch the grass bag it make it clean pick it all up and remove it um, I know a lot of people think that mulching is you know by far a lot better um, I think it's kind of debatable I think it kind of depends on your yard and uh, your situation. Um, I think that mulching in theory is, is probably a good thing. But does it actually make your yard do better? Does it make it um, more healthy? Does it make it, you know, the color better? Does it make it a higher quality turf? You know, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit hard to, to prove that on all cases. And on this yard, I've been mulching it. For probably a month now and I'm trying to increase the organic uh, matter in my soil and in my you know grass and all because this started off as kind of like a bunch of fill dirt that's all like terrible clay soil and as you can see it's like it won't even hardly grow weeds much less nice fescue grass so you know I've gotten it to to do really good and I didn't really think that I'd be able to grow fescue grass in this terrible soil, but I wanted to try to see if I could before I brought in a ton of dirt. And whenever I have customers that have properties that have terrible soils, I kind of just like to know for myself what you really have to do um, to make it work. So you can have a nice lawn, even with terrible soils. Um, we have to work at it a lot harder and we have to use a lot of products on it. but. Um, overall my grass looks good i just i just want this yellowing out of it and it's kind of hard to see from the video but there's really bad spots of yellow 
and I wish that there was a pattern like it's you know right next to the concrete right here but as you go over it's inconsistent and there's areas that it's nice and dark and green and looks good and then it goes back to yellow and back to dark and back to yellow and it's just it doesn't show a pattern good enough to really you know pinpoint and know why it is that way out in the middle of the grass on the edges you know all kinds of different areas have this yellow so I'm gonna keep on putting down I'm gonna probably put down another application of ironite on the half that I'm testing that I'm using ironite on I will probably put malorganite on that side as well and then on the other side the right side over here I'm going to only use fertilizer, just a regular, um, I think the one that is over there, I think it's like a 3207. So just kind of generic fertilizers for growing season grass, um, pretty high nitrogen levels. I'm not positive, but I think that I have helped fix some of these yards just by simply putting down more fertilizer on a more regular basis um, just keeping the nitrogen going has seemed to help more than anything but I don't really have you know good scientific proof of that so that's what I'm after right now is is spending a lot of money on ironite and malorganite and organic matter is that really going to help you know fix these problems or is just a regular nitrogen fertilizer gonna do just as good um, I don't know that's that's kind of what we're after but if anybody you know knows specifically what else to try on this you know definitely let me know and I will be happy to do some tests on it um, I've tried some different um, organics I have like a liquid Let's see if I can find this real quick All right, I've tried this, uh, it's called Intex. It's a, this one's a root stimulator with humus. Um, there's all kinds of organic substances in here and bacteria that are grown like kind of like in a lab essentially. And you know, it's supposed to make everything do amazing and uh, I've seen what I thought were some pretty good results with this product and different ones like it. Um, but the more I've tested and the more I've messed with it, the harder it is for me to prove whether or not it's actually doing anything. So um, I don't know, it's not for a lack of trying, but uh, it seems like this yellowing grass and fescue is one of the most difficult things to try to overcome on, on lawns here where, where we live. So peace. Have a good day.